Hello, faithful friends of the internet. I'm Jason Mayfield. This is Tear Up Your Bible Tools. First things first, I'm the realist. But actually, I want to say thank you to all of our friends and partners who help make this content possible every month over at jasonmayfield.com slash give. Do you want to take your Bible interaction to a whole nother level? Then visit tearupyourbible.com. Not as bad as it sounds. Just go check it out. All right, today we are looking at the Mr. Pen Bible Pens. Now, I want to toss a little, little info on you here, okay? We did recently, in the past, at one point in time, not long ago, but previously to now, did a review on the Mr. Pen dry highlighter pen things and I think they were terrible. So we're going into this Mr. Pen deal. And listen, I'm doing these Mr. Pen reviews because y'all have asked for Mr. Pen. Here's the thing about the Mr. Pen, all right? This one, they call them Bible pens. Now, I just want to tell y'all, okay? A little Jason Mayfield philosophy dropping on you right here. Typically, when they say something like Bible pens for your Bible, you know, Bible study, a pen, you know, any kind of thing like that. Normally, I think, I, well, I don't think. I, I have come to know that it is a gimmick. And it's not actually going to be any good. <laughs> and typically, anything I use like that is just garbage. I'm hoping that this is not the case with these. However, that was the case with the other ones, though that didn't say it was made for your Bible. So... But on the back of here, it says you should try them. And I would just say, if you buy these, don't listen to that. So in this pen set, we have almost everything that we need. We've got a good blue, purple, red, pink, green, I mean, orange, green, got black, no yellow. So got a strike on the yellow. So we're gonna test these things out real quick using our normal point system. Well, it's not a point system, but our normal points that we check, and that is the smear, the color, the ghosting, the bleeding, the ease of use, and the price. Let's check these out. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the smear test. No, God, please, no, 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 no! Oh man, I just ripped through that page. Tearing up our Bibles here today. Hello. All right. They don't smear, but they will rip a hole in your Bible. Smear test, it passes. Color, they look okay. Ghosting and bleeding, I mean, well, I don't know. It is a little, no, it's fine. They pass the ghost and the bleed. Let's of course it rips a hole in your Bible. That was me. I'm just kidding. That is not on them. That is me that did that. That was, you know, the way I do the smear test is kind of dumb. Also, just want to remind you, it's the test and demonstration Bible. Don't freak out. Calm it down. So the color, I mean, you can see it looks okay. I did use the dark blue that they had in there just because we don't have the yellow. I mean, their black looks okay. Easy use. It's easy to use. The price, um, I think these were like, let's look real quick, hang on. The Mr. Pen Bible Pens, they're $8 for a pack of six. I got a pack of 16, I think. Yeah, so these are $12. Here's the deal. As you can tell, probably in the tone in my voice, I'm not thrilled, and I'm not. They feel cheap. They don't write that great. I would not use these. That's just the end of it. I would not use these. If you want to use them, go ahead. For $12, you can get other stuff that's much better. You know, go get Inkjoy gel or Inkjoy ballpoint pens. They're going to be better than this. Enjoy gel pens go cost a little bit more, but they're better than this. Uh, every pen I have in my thing, uh, I like better than this. So the whole Mr. Pen thing in general, 
I'm not feeling it. They threw a mustache on some pins and thought it was great. They're not great pins. I'm, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not into them. So I hope Mr. Pin wasn't eyeing me from a, for a huge endorsement, multi-million dollar Bible review endorsement. For real though, I'm not feeling them. I don't like them. I wouldn't recommend them. I, so far, the two products I've used from Mr. Penn, very unimpressed. But hey, if you want to get them, there's a link in the description below. Always have links to the things. So that being said, as these videos go on, I hope we get into some more goodies because these are this this has been disappointing. These last two, I mean, the Mr. Pins. I'm not liking the Mr. Pins. No. But I'd rather be using Mr. Pins than Mr. Da Pins. You know what I'm saying? Do you fit? You with me? Again, I'd like to say thank you to all of the people who partner with me every month over at jasonmayfield.com slash give. I'm going to be praying that you continue to experience grace for life through Jesus Christ. Keep tearing up those Bibles, and I'll see you in the next video.